Hi, I'm Kat Cannawell, part of the education team for Meet Edison Robots. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics for getting started with your Edison robot. Now, Edison comes in a box that's sealed with a sticker. To get Edison out of the box, first break open the sticker, and then you're going to unroll the box to get Edison out. And out will come Edison. The box has some basic instructions that will help you get your Edison set up. It also has a barcode program which you can use to get your Edison moving right away. But if you don't have your box, don't worry. I'm going to show you everything you need to do. The first step is to open up the battery door on the back of Edison. In new robots, the door can be a little stiff, so you might need something to lever it open. A small screwdriver or even a pen will do the trick. Just make sure you keep your thumb on the back of the door so it doesn't go flying off. The EDCOM cable is actually shipped inside the battery compartment in new robots. So once you have the door off, you'll need to take that cable out. You will need four AAA batteries to power Edison. If you are using disposable batteries, only use alkaline batteries. These are the most common AAA batteries you'll find in just about any shop. Never use heavy duty, super heavy duty, or carbon zinc batteries. If using rechargeable batteries, only use nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. Never use lithium rechargeable batteries. Be sure to put the batteries in the correct way. There are markings on the battery door which will show you the positive and negative connection direction for each battery. Once the batteries are in Edison the correct way, place the door back on. Be sure it closes all the way. The last step is turning Edison on. The power switch is on the bottom of your Edison. To turn on your robot, slide the switch from the left off position to the right on position. You will hear Edison make a chirping sound and the two red LEDs will begin to flash. If you leave your robot on, but don't use it for five minutes, Edison will automatically turn off. However, it is best to manually turn off Edison when not in use. Now that your Edison's ready to use, let's learn a little bit more about the robot. Your Edison robot arrives fully assembled, but there are a few parts you will sometimes want to take off of your robot. We've already looked at the battery door, which you'll need to open and close anytime you change the batteries. There are also three other parts that can come off of Edison. The wheels, the tires, and the skid. Let's start by looking at the wheels. Both of Edison's wheels can be removed from the robot. To remove a wheel, hold Edison in one hand and the wheel in the other. Pull the wheel straight out away from Edison. The wheels can be a bit stiff, especially in new robots so you might have to pull a bit harder than you expect. But they do come right out and they do go right back in, so don't worry. Each wheel is a solid piece of plastic with the axle built straight into the wheel. The wheel also has a dark gray tire which you can take off of the wheel. Simply lift the soft tire away from the plastic wheel and gently peel it off. To put the tire back on, place the wheel edge into the tire, then gently stretch the tire back over the wheel. The final removable part to look at is the skid. The skid is the small, clear plastic bump on the underside of the robot. Because the skid is really little and made of clear plastic, it can be very hard to find if you drop it on the floor, so do be careful when you take it out of the robot. To remove the skid, just pull it out of the orange chassis. To put it back into place, just line up the peg of the skid with the hole on Edison and push. Most of the time you use Edison, you'll want to leave the wheels, the tires, and the skid in place. But there are some projects, especially engineering projects, where you'll need to remove some or all of these parts. And now you know how. There's a lot more to learn and so much to do with Edison. Head to meetedison.com to learn more about Edison sensors, check out the different programming languages, and discover great activities and challenges to try.